Hi there, in this session, I would like to tell you about uh, JavaScript data types. These are very most important in JavaScript. And whatever we are seeing here in this JavaScript data types uh, are having in this uh, standard uh, JavaScript only. <coughs> so the meaning of uh, data type is uh, different types of variable values. What does it mean by this? Variable values. Variable can save some values. That values is called as a data type. Sir. Means we can assign some name to this variable. For example, if it is a ABC, then it, it would be a name. We are assigning uh, some text uh, here in this uh, variable. So this is called as a string. And we are assigning value as 25 for this uh, variable. So it will store data as number. And we are assigning some Boolean values. Boolean values also one of the important uh, thing here in this uh, data types. Uh, it will assign some conditional statements. Means we can play this true or false Boolean values as a true or false values in the in the sense conditional values. Condition in the sense it is a if else statement. And also here in this uh, true or false Boolean values, we can also make uh, make some conditions with the help of these Boolean values means we are assigning the, uh, this variable will store these boolean values this variable will store these multiple kind of values is called as a array this variable will store some object properties for example first name and last name it is a, called as a an object as well as uh, some as I, while we are writing and while we are doing any kind of project there sometimes we need to assign some null variable because here in this variable doesn't have any kind of valuable it is playing some null value moreover here you can see there is undefined data value be there means variable couldn't define any property it is undefined variable ha doesn't have any property either number name object boolean or string whatever it may be it is having only null then it, it is a null data type so these are the data types uh, having here in this standard javascript only okay these are very most important uh, it is uh, these data types are playing very more important uh, role here in this javascript as well as javascript framework Let's have a look how we can execute these data types here in this code editor. I will go with the VS code editor so that I will take a new document and it is called as a JavaScript data TYPES. I will dot HTML. I will go with the internal JavaScript only. Hit enter. To define this one, what we need to do is I will go with the standard HTML template. Here you can see. And uh, I don't want to entertain any kind of external JavaScript. I will use uh, internal JavaScript only. To assign that one, I will go with the script. This is HTML5, one of the tag. So in between the script tag only, we have to yes, execute some uh, JavaScript functionality. So I will take one variable. So that name, I will define as a name for that variables. So name should be use some double quotes. There I will assign some text like this. This is uh, JavaScript uh, like that. Uh, so this is called as a string. We can say this is a string. So we assigned some text to this name. Means this name variable, this name variable stored this text. So this is called as a string. I want to print it out uh, in my document. In the sense, I want to print it out uh, in my browser. How we can do that one? So now we can see for that we have to use document object property, one of the property. So document dot write, I will go with the write. Here we can see we have to define that variable name because that variable name has stored some information. We define that one. This is JavaScript. So what we need to do is we have to use that variable name only. So it will render that name here in this document. So we can see, I will save this one. What I would like to do is I want to see the preview, how it seems to be. So here you can see open in live server. So we can see that output, this is JavaScript. Means we assigned these variable value here in this document dot write only. So this is one kind of data type. This is the method to execute our data types by using data dot document dot write method. 
so if i use document dot write if i use this variable here in this document dot write as with some double quotes here you can see the preview how it seems to be so it will consider javascript will consider that name is a string so save this one here you can see it will show you some name like this it, uh, JavaScript rendering because we used some double quotes uh, here in this document dot right now so that it would consider as a string only means it is a name so name also print like this so we doesn't uh, it doesn't require any kind of double quotes to execute our variable name so I will take name as like this so here you can see this is a variable name so what I want to do is I will comment out this one also comment out by hitting double backslash so here we can see that is a string i want to use variable number so n u m b a number equal to here in this number if you want to assign any kind of values to this variable so it doesn't require any kind of double quotes so we can assign some kind of number over here so we need to use that number here in this document dot write method only so what I will do is uh, I will assign number so save this one here you can see the preview it seems to be like this you can use you can reuse this variable wherever you required you can re-render this variable wherever you required so this is called as a string st uh, sorry sorry this is called as a number so I will comment out this number also as well as here you can see I will comment out this number also and next we can see there is an array so I want to save this string as well as I want to save this number in one one value one variable so I want to assign these two things in one variable for that we need to use we have to use string sorry sorry we have to use uh, array so what we need to do is where a r r a y array equal to how we can define so array always maintains uh, square brackets here only we have to define some value as uh, this is javascript uh, comma there we need to mention for second value for this array will save these two values i will give some number also and uh, semicolon here we can see we defined uh, two values for this array and we are declaring we are rendering that array by using document dot write as array save this one here you can see the value it seems to be like this means uh, array will saves the value will saves the two or more value at a time so that uh, we can use this array data type we can assign some array data type for this variable so what I will do is this is an array after you after watching this video you can download the source code also I will send this I will provide this uh, source code to you so that uh, this is called as a array so what I will do is I would like to comment out this one I will show you, show you <coughs> I will show you how to assign object here you can see so I here you can see this is the variable and I will define that name as a object name okay uh, equal to open close curly braces so name colon single quotes this is user comma then after that the yes, description single quotes this is object the e s c r i p t y o n description like this and this kind of values we can define here in this object what i will do is i will render this variable and have a look it seems to be like this obj ct object save this one now you can see you couldn't see the properties here you can see the object object because these kind of data will available and will render there in that console only so that what i would like to do is i will comment out this one save this one you can't say about this object and after that what i will do is i will use console dot console dot log log here you can see we have to define that object variable so i will define as an object so see here save this one we have to see we have to see this console and right click inspect there you can see the console mode is there there you can see object values are there 
description is there, name is there, and some other prototype related objects are also be there. So what happening is we are saving some object properties to this variable. So we can reuse, re re-render these things a number of times. To execute this one, we have to use console.log and for remaining data types, we have to use this document.write to get output there in our browser. So there is uh, some more data types also be there. You can see null data type is there, undefined data types is also be there. Some circumstances we have to use that uh, data types for our project. These are the data types very useful, can able to use in that Angular, VUE, ReactJS, API, data databases. There also we have to use these data types. Uh, these are the most important data types are having here in this. Uh, standard JavaScript.